Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you so much for watching this video. Today I've got a very exciting After Effects tutorial to release to you guys. Uh, typography animation. I released a preview on my channel a while ago. It received a very high amount of positive feedback. A lot of people are waiting for the tutorial. Um, so I've been very excited to release this and so today is the day. Uh, I'll take a quick look at exactly what we're going to be creating here. Uh, typo. And uh, we've got many different titles, uh, opening title, and it's a nice effect, all unique, different kind of transitions, and the transitions are all kind of custom made in After Effects, and that's the whole point of typography, um, original, and obviously the final line there, and it closes off. Uh, so that's what we're going to be creating, uh, so I think without further ado, we'll head into After Effects and take it from there. And so this is the opening title. Um, composition as you see there is a lot of a lot of lot of layers so it's going to be kind of a long winded so but if you stay with it I'm sure you'll pick up a very few uh, useful tips to, and to use uh, obviously that one there as well and you can go to composition new composition and I'm going to call it typography yeah there we go typography tutorial 128 by 720 square pixels uh, frame rate of 30 and I'm going to keep the duration at 20 seconds. Uh, you can change all of this later on. Uh, however, this is usually what works best. And I'm going to change the background color to black. OK. And OK. So here we are. Uh, first things first, we're going to make a new solid. I'm just going to go new solid. And I'm going to make the color a nice cream color, a bit lighter maybe. There we go. Click OK and OK. Uh, there's more of an off-white, it looks very nice, uh, gives a different effect, uh, as I said, just to the plain white. And there we have it, so as you also notice, what happened, the first thing that happens is kind of a red sheet kind of flies across yeah, without any type to dropping down. Uh, so we're going to make the red sheet, so we're going to make file new, and I'm going to make solid, and we're going to call it. In fact, no, we're not going to call it anything. We're just going to make it red. And we're going to make it a nice pristine red. Maybe not so much of the royal red that you kind of typically see. Uh, there we go. That's looking good. And so I'm just going to rotate it here uh, so it's at the angle that we want it. It doesn't have to be exactly uh, diagonal of like the 45 degrees. Um, mine wasn't, and it still looked okay. And so I'll just drag out the scale here. And it's going to fly across, and this is the way I'm going to do it. Uh, so, really uh, make this as big as you can, maybe a bit more rotation. So, it's a little bit more centered up, maybe. There we go. That's looking okay. Uh, so, once I've done that, I'm going to move it up this way. So, it's right on the end. There we go. And I'm just going to go onto the red and transform and under scale after one second I'm going to keyframe it uh, to actually just made it and then on zero seconds we're just going to uh, reduce the size of the solid so it goes up like so there we have it so if you notice after one second uh, the red solid kind of flies in uh, and that's looking okay and you notice we have some text coming in next so let's go file new uh, text uh, we'll type uh, opening uh, I don't really use any kind of downloadable fonts I just use Arial and I'd go to Arial it's an Arial black to its own font hasn't it there we go Arial black indeed make the color and go to the picker and choose exactly the same as the background color Okay, and so this text is going to come in and turn off caps lock. There we go. I'm going to reduce the size to about 75, and I'm just going to rotate it uh, so it kind of lines up with the red. And line it up here. Maybe zoom in just a tad. Uh, maybe make sure you get the right, uh, the angles matched up with the red. Uh, you want the top to be just edging off so there's no red uh, between the text and the background. Uh, so you don't want to see any red in there. Uh, just lower it down. There we go. And then maybe just drag it up. 
like so. That's looking good. And I'll put it down just a little bit. In fact, uh, make make it more centered up. There we go. Um, that's looking good. So on the opening text, uh, if the red box flies in for one second, I'm going to make it so this starts at one second. And what's going to happen is it's going to transform and we're going to keyframe the position. So after one second, in fact no, two seconds, we're going to keyframe the position there. And so after about one second, or just after maybe, uh, it's above. And because it's the same color, you don't actually notice it. Okay. So that then flies down. That comes at a bit of an angle. Uh, make sure you get it straight. I haven't. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, but that flies in nonetheless. Okay. So we've got that coming in. Uh, we'll maybe just click a RAM preview. Uh, if you want to try and get the the times lined up, all right. Okay. And then also again, we've got a new text. Uh, we've got the opening title, not solid, rather. Right click new text. And again, this is going to be made just after the opening text comes in. So if that comes in by two seconds, it's going to start at two seconds. And we're going to call it uh, title. And I'm going to make this a nice brown color. Uh, so let's go down to the orange kind of tabs and find a way at what looks good. That's maybe just a little bit too dark. Uh, that's looking. A little bit better, we'll use that. Uh, so again, you want to rotate this so it lines up with the red and also the opening uh, text. Rotate just a little bit more. It's very tricky, uh, maybe quite quite a tedious task this. Uh, so maybe not one. But to get it looking exactly right, yeah, it's, it's a big bonus. Um, I'll leave it. I'll leave it there. That should be okay. And so again, I'm going to keyframe it after. In fact, we'll move that text layer. The title for so that starts at about two seconds. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm just going to go to. In fact, no, it, this moves below the red solid, like so. And. This comes in at maybe two and a half seconds, just before three seconds. So again, just go to the tr 